Gdje je Borsko? Dobro prođala bi bio Ukrajino. Right, y'all, welcome back to Combat Arms Channel. Okay, I would have tried to do the intro in, in Russian, but I, I'm not that devoted to the Russian skit, to be honest. Now, today we're not checking out something from Russia specifically. Today we're checking out some more Ukrainian combat footage. Now, I got sent this video, and I gotta say, it is freaking insane from what I've seen so far. So this is about, like, I guess it's like a multinational sort of task force or a team called Bravo Team. Now, I've only learned that in the first part of this video. I haven't really watched much of it. I think I've seen like the first 30 seconds. And it seems pretty freaking insane from what I've seen so far. Now, the YouTube channel is called Rock Seal. It looks like they have a few other deployments slash combat footage types of videos on their channel. So I'm not sure if the person who runs the channel or the team who runs the channel was here during this deployment but it looks like they got some pretty solid coverage. So I definitely want to react to it and sort of see what they got up to. So I think you guys are definitely going to be able to appreciate it if you can kind of appreciate the combat footage that we've already been seeing. This seems very well edited and very well cut. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So multinational special operations. Damn, okay. All right, so we got the Republic of Korea, USA, United Kingdom, Ukraine. Uh, oh, I'm not sure about this one. Uh, Canada and then France. You guys can kind of see it there. Um, I'm not sure what country this is, to be honest. I'll have to look it up real quick. Okay, so it looks like it's uh, it's Georgia. Interesting. I want to see what their special forces looks like because we haven't checked out anything from that country yet. Okay, a spotter was just checking out our location. Uh, Ken and John took him out, and we got to exit out of here to uh, back to our rally point. Jeez. Because it's likely that they know where we're at, so we're uh, getting ready to move out. They're getting right into it. Holy cow. Damn, dude, this is crazy. Like how real this is. Like the, the helmet camera footage is, is awesome to see because you really get a good feel for everything that's going on. But like this is like really high quality stuff, I gotta say. All right, I'm gonna get the other guys. You guys, come down. Okay, so they got like an urban sort of patrol base set up. Yeah. I wonder how many guys they actually have on the team. Hmm. Yeah. Damn, okay. Probably like a artillery sort of forward observer, I'm guessing. It's so crazy, like, we can't really see what it looks like outside of this courtyard just yet, but it's like just a modern looking sort of village or, or town, and it's kind of like frozen in place, and now you have these guys that are just maneuvering through it, freaking taking out spotters and whatnot. It, it's so weird, like, thinking of what this area must have looked like, you know, even like a year ago, two years ago. Five, six, seven, eight. All right. Getting accountability, good stuff. That is super important. It's so trivial, but it's very, very important. You see the person up front? So it looks like, what, it was like eight, eight, nine people? Turn left. Damn. Returning left. They're doing pretty good, like, with the... I mean, they're special operations. They're probably going to be pretty solid. But, yeah, with, like, something like this, it doesn't necessarily need to be so, like, monotonous and methodical. 
as long as you're providing security to the major danger areas, you can move through it relatively quickly if you do need to. It looks like obviously he's saying, you, you know, we need to double time. They're probably not trying to overexpose himself, especially in this area when they said that the spotter was there. The enemy might already know and probably already knows that they're there. So at this point, it might just be better to move quickly, you know, before like 30 dudes show up and then it gets really hard to figure out what to do. Hmm. Damn. Days of searching. No kidding. Yeah, man. One spotter can cause can cause some pretty nasty havoc. Yeah, it's one of the rock on it. Just a speed point. We'll find out how long we're here. Cheers, brother. No problem. Gaga. Нормально. Видишь это? Это было на меня, блядь. А я 10 метров вот этого. Does he understand what he's saying? I've got no clue, obviously. Maybe here. Hmm. Okay. So I know they were at their rally point before, but it looks like, I mean, a few days later, this might be a different area, maybe more of like the headquarters or maybe more uh, rear echelon kind of area. But okay, so now we're seeing a little bit more of the, you know, I guess the, maybe these are just other teams, maybe like an alpha team or a Charlie team or something. Yeah. Well, that's the question is what does he have a, a route that he wants us to take? No, no, it's on us. Okay. So we'll work with Alex on the route. Okay, stand by. I'm gonna have to cross the street. Those are our options. Uh, the other option is we can get into the second story of this yellow house well, I mean and take time and observe before we move. Hmm. That's the safest approach is if we can get in that house and have some overwatch on the approach to the building. Um, I really love that they actually left the dialogue in here because you have the two IC talking to, you know, the, the commander here. And you can see like the, the brainstorming they're doing as far as, you know, what, what would be the most sound approach. I thought this was more of a rear echelon area, but now that they're talking about it and talking about observing from this, this building, I'm guessing it's, you know, pretty much the, the front line where, where they're at right now, or, or at least close enough to be able to observe, you know, troop movement and whatnot. It's, it's going to take longer, what but about, it's, about it's safer. Going, uh, behind? It's it's all the way down to the corner, all the way over. It's, the way, it's a long way. Okay, let's go through the fence then. Okay. <laughs> Look out, I gotta get over here. I gotta hop this fence. So what, they're heading to a, a building right now, I guess? I know they're talking about doing observation, so maybe they're gonna set up another sort of urban patrol base kind of dealio. This alleyways can get sketchy, man. At least from the, the footage I've seen. Especially if you're not exactly sure where everybody's at. Between the houses, there's a path and there's, uh, he says there could be an MBMP over there. BMP. BMP, BMP, BMP. Damn. Get on the civilians for helping though. I wonder, I haven't seen any anti-tank weapons yet. Yeah, now they're gonna be a little bit more methodical with the, uh, with the movement for sure. Especially when you got a possible freaking BMP or BMB. Oh, there you go. What is that? Uh, AT4 or an N law? Oh, damn. Look at this. Uh. Damn. Yeah, it helps to be in shape and have kit that's not working against you to be able to do stuff like that. 
window. See that window? Damn, that looks so freaking sketchy. Again, look at this, like, pretty nice looking building. Damn, you know their adrenaline is going insane right now. And they're not getting complacent, even though they're not taking fire, they're still like clearing out that building. they're gonna ambush them then. Do I stand next to you? Where do I stand? Right there. Oh, no kidding, dude. Where do I stand? Get down the stairs. Yeah, that's a good call. Even though he's not like directly in the back glass and it's an end law, you still don't want to be that, that close. I mean, it's still not gonna be that fun. Damn, okay. Yeah, and that's like, now they're, so they're, they're in like a pretty big looking building. And I mean, I'm not sure how many entrances this thing would have, but for them, once they initiate this sort of ambush, like they're attacking the, the armor and whatnot, now they need to make, make sure that they're covering down on all these possible entry points. Or, I mean, if it's just five guys and, you know, their armor just got taken out, they're probably not going to go looking for a fight, to be honest. They're probably going to try and defend themselves and break contact. So it's not likely that they're going to try and assault inside the compound. But again, you want to make sure that people aren't just running up behind you. Even if they're like completely lost and don't know where the, the actual shot came from, they might just end up wandering into your building anyway. So it looks like here they're trying to pull some some security and then also trying to make sure that those guys don't, you know, leave the area and end up reporting. Or, you know, obviously they're not trying to have these guys live to fight another day even. Where is it? Upstairs. Oh, snap. Hold this. Who's that? No, wait, the two here. Snap by guys. Yeah, it's... And of course, sometimes it's a better call to wait to get your rifle until these guys stop firing through the window. Uh, let their sort of adrenaline subside and they sort of reorganize and try and see where else they're going to be moving at that point. And then, you know, obviously then you can go and get your rifle. But yeah, now's probably not the best time. If anything, I got you. Damn, yeah. I need to get my rifle, man. Yeah, it's a good damn, it is a good call. He went downstairs because yeah, that area is not looking too great right now. Paul is downstairs, first floor at the door. Okay. Are you over here up here? Yes. Okay. That's a good leader right there. Getting accountability, organizing everything. Oh yeah, he's like, I, I need to get my rifle, yeah. <laughs> oh, the BMP is still up then. Hey, consolidate, that's the magic word right there. Then what happened? Damn, he sounds out of it. Before we pass it up, we gotta get out of here. Let's go. Alright, You wanna patch him with something or no? I can't really see what happens. So we're gonna expect. Everyone good to go? If you need five minutes, we're gonna have to leave your weapon behind, okay? We need to go. Unless you wanna get it. Bandages. Let's go. Oh man, dude, and that's that is a super tough call. I mean, the, you know, the leader's trying to take charge. He knows that that building is not a good place to be right now, especially you know if more Russians end up showing up 
they don't want to be sort of surrounded in this building. And this dude's probably like, damn, I really need to get my freaking rifle. Let's okay, tell. Come on. All right, give him away. Give him away. I wonder what happened to this. Hey, Otto, this dude, talk to me. Otto, look at me. Look at me in the eyes. Look at me. Let's go. gonna be fine, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come Okay. So let's so say he's got a maybe a through and through in the shoulder. You Okay. Go, 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 Oh, yes. Oh, what a freaking, <laughs> what a legend, man. Okay, so, yeah, obviously you have to understand, like, if they take a casualty, that's going to take multiple guys out of the fight. And being in that building already is not a place that they want to be. So, yeah, it, it's definitely going to be a consolidation at this point. Definitely going back, regrouping, where it's going to be a little bit safer. Um, so go back, pull security, regroup, treat everyone, um, sort of spread load ammo if you need to. So that's what they're doing right now. So yeah, the leadership here seems pretty freaking on point. Ted! Go, guys. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, damn. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. That's a, that's the fastest you'll ever run. That's scary right there. Go. Good job covering though. Like their movement is on point. Yes. Did we open this shit? Damn. Go, go, go. Let's go, let's go. Damn, dude. Again, just like things like this where the train is, is I mean, it's not like a freaking brick wall or it's not this like insane wall that you can't get past. But when you have small things like sheet metal just blocking your way, and you need to go into this direction and there's something even like as small as, as you know, sheet metal fence in the way, it's going to get frustrating. So you can see, yeah, he just, he's just blowing through that. They're not letting that stop them at this point. Like they need movement, they need movement in a certain direction. So that's what they're doing here. Oh, move to the car. Hold security here. Go, go, go. I'm gonna bring wounded. I'm gonna bring wounded. Hold on. Roger. Oh, hey, we're yeah. so okay, take it. Fast, all right? yeah. Viking, good? Viking, take me. Auto go. All right, good. Move. Here we go. Yeah. Go, guys. Let's go. Go. Let's go, Jack. Go, 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 go. Fucking go. Hey. All right. Looks like a much better position here. Where is everybody? Yes, sir. We'll go with the. You will evacuate. The team will stay here. Okay. Are we taking our bags in the building? Yeah. So another another good call here. Like he's trying to obviously you want to get the wounded back, even though the dude is you know able to walk around and whatnot. You still want to make sure you get him back so he can get treated. Also, so he can, you know, get out of this area that's so hot and heavy. You don't want him to be in an area, especially when he's not necessarily, like, combat effective at that point. So, yeah, uh, definitely, again, the, the biggest thing that I'm seeing here is the, the leadership is pretty freaking insane. And the fundamentals are great, like, as far as them pulling security and whatnot. And the communication, the communication is, is fantastic. Everybody is definitely keeping their cool. 
And you can tell they were very, very close. Like, that is freaking insane. Put our bags in the building? No, just uh, leave them in the and out of the back way with the truck. We with stay. our bags? You could get our bags. Get your bags if you need them. I think we should. Get them. Because if they're driving away. Ned, help me grab these bags. They're going to drive away. Hey, so did Odo. Yeah, so again, something as small as that is a call that you need to make, and it's not one that you will even make that easily. I mean, for me personally, yeah, it, I would feel more comfortable with more gear so I can sustain it. But again, for for him, like the, the commander, he's probably thinking, you know, if we need to get out of this area, I want to make sure we can do it more expeditiously so he's not necessarily as worried about the bags or sustainment because it's probably not a place that he's, you know, expecting to stay too long. Did Jack go uh, Overwatch? Yes. He went Overwatch. Which building? This one right here. Okay. Nice. Okay, Overwatch setup. Damn. This is like a yeah. great example yeah. of, of what to do right, <laughs> for sure. Everybody go to the call because security. Let's collapse security back to the building. There's artillery coming. Alright, fall back to the building. Hmm. Fall back to the building. Damn that music. I was expecting something to happen. Right. Yeah, so now before they're obviously start doing any more major movements, they're doing some planning. Um, so obviously if you're going to start getting our artillery, you don't want to be in an area too long and it's better to get a little bit more distance so you can kind of uh, not necessarily make the artillery less effective, but you know, kind of confuse them. So they might start shelling an area. They might not know exactly where you're moving to. So moving out of the area is just generally a good call. And definitely getting inside the building is a good call too if they have artillery coming. If we are falling back, this is our compound. Half a block to the east is whatever this, there's a parking lot, there's a building. If that proves to be un, unreliable, there's this giant building here. Looks like Google Maps. But there's cover here. And if we like it, we stay. If we don't, we yeah, and that's a whole other thing. I don't think I'm really that qualified to talk about, but the actual SIGINTS, like the signals intelligence, even if they have the map downloaded and they're not actively using the location services, it, there's still some sort of signal going off on that phone that you can try and exploit. Um, and there's a potential, you know, with like Bluetooth and what have you for there to be some sort of signal like that for somebody to pick up on. Again, I'm not that qualified, but you kind of have to weigh the pros and cons when you're in an environment like this and you have access to limited gear. Want to come with you? The MRAP's up front. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, MRAP. Is he in the building? No, he's in the MRAP. Just you know, up there. <laughs> <laughs> he's just chilling. So I imagine who they're referring to is like higher echelon sort of commander. What are they taking? Get the thing out of here. Okay. Oh damn, you got like freaking gunshots just popping off like not far from them still. Yeah, so a lot of people watch military movies and they probably expect you to be able to communicate with like pa full paragraphs and essays with just hand and arm signals, but that's not the case at all. Um, th they're kind of limited. And if you're trying to do any sort of planning like this, you know, trying to non-verbally plan stuff with hand and arm signals, you're kind of just have to make up stuff on the fly. And yeah, that's kind of what's going on here. Again, communications or radios is not necessarily something that everybody's going to have and it might not be reliable when you're having different radio systems and whatnot. Come again. Oh, the Russians are here. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. 
I wonder if the dude on Overwatch has any sort of like signals or radio. Get, get wounded in the fucking truck. Damn, dude. Huh? I'm gonna go get. Hey, I got. You. I'm, I'm covering this sector. Yes, I'm not sure what's going on right now, but I mean, it looks like you got these infantry kind of just chilling. I mean, I imagine they're probably just trying to get some sort of protection if, you know, artillery starts landing in the area. But if they're getting encircled, then yeah, I'd imagine these guys would probably want to push out a little bit just to kind of get a little bit more like kind of 360 security. That Overwatch is definitely uh, clutch as far as being able to sort of track a little bit more um, and also get a little bit more longer range effects before they start getting a little bit too close. Tell me and I'll move. I'll move. Damn. Go. Go. Alright. Give me security on the MRAP. Go. Oh, he's not leaving the MRAP. Security on the MRAP. Go. Dude, okay, now we're seeing a lot more of the uh, destruction Mike, you open the front. Let's go. that's already taken place. Get, get in there. Move over, move over. Hey, there's always room for one more. Hey, my friend, you like? Fuck your leg. Yeah. Somebody getting our bag? Yeah. Fuck the bag. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I have mine. <laughs> you had to add that. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stand by. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fine. Okay, we're clear. Clear, clear, clear. Clear. Bad for clock. Bad for clock. Keep looking, keep looking. Damn. Right. Again, that's clear. scary for the gunner this doing all this clear. scanning and whatnot. I wonder what the time span was for this for this video alone. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, it's never fun to see the uh, the fallen at the end. Yeah, so while I may joke about the Russians kind of just showing up and not necessarily knowing what they're doing there and whatnot, you got to freaking support these guys. Like, they're putting their comfort to the side so they can go out and, and fight this, this threat to these people who are having their homes destroyed and taken over, having their, you know, their whole lives kind of shattered. And yeah, it's it's just awesome to see these organizations, especially these, these sort of multinational teams and, and task force, People who are going out there volunteering to, you know, organize this sort of effort to try and help the Ukrainian people. It's it's freaking awesome to see. And I'm glad we have so many videos like this on YouTube, online, you know, Reddit and what have you, where we can really see what they're doing, what they're going through, kind of get updates. And again, see the faces of the fall. And like, it's not easy to see that, but you can really respect. And again, you can really honor those individuals for, again, just doing what they, they need to do to try and help the Ukrainian people. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys have any more information about this team, I would love to hear it. I'm going to check out this channel and see if I can get a little bit more information about what they do and kind of what they're, they're doing for, uh, for Ukraine. But yeah, this video, again, it seems like it was, I don't know, maybe a few hours or just in one day they had this going on. So uh, it's pretty crazy to think like I just spent today kind of just comfortable sitting most of the day and then you have individuals like like these guys going out there and and killing it so yeah good stuff again let me know what you guys think hopefully you guys were able to appreciate this video but yeah i'll see you on the next one